This is how I renovated my office as a UX designer, not an interior designer. Step one, I measured everything, and in Figma, I made a 216 by 216 frame. But why? Because my studio is a 216 inch perimeter, so each pixel is an inch. Then I added a 12 pixel grid to that frame to help me visualize everything in feet and test out new layouts. But here's the thing, I needed three filming stations. One for my new desk, which is this. Another for my old workstation, which is now the studio filming desk, which I put on moving pads so I can move it around only when I need it. Then there's the podcast which needed three angles and all of these angles needed a good backdrop. So step two was modeling out the camera angles in real life. Then I made cones in Figma that matched, but it got hard to visualize everything with so many angles and furniture moving around each time. So I made a component that was the size of the frame and it had two extra variants for each film set. But I'm a simple man who enjoys flipping a toggle or two. So instead of making three values on one property, I made the variants have three properties all set to true or false, which means in Figma, they became a list of toggles. Nice. That helped me realize that pretty much all of these two walls walls were going to be on camera. So step three was to paint those walls green, but then the other walls needed to be light to keep it from feeling like a dungeon. And I hit a snag when I put my new desk together. The top was nice, but the white legs blended with the white wall and it just became a sea of white. So I made a frame for the 100 inch tall wall, visualized the new desk and mapped out a gallery wall, which I was actually gonna do on this wall, but I think it was too busy anyway. And then over here, I wanted to drop some lights and I tried out floating shelves, I decided these pegboards with a table felt better. Now I just have to figure out art for all of these walls.